Here we are in our final example today, example E. And um, on this one, we have a decimal staring straight up at us from the base. Well, before I begin, I'm going to write my formula. The area for a triangle. Notice how I did that. A stands for area. Draw a little triangle at the feet of it. Is 1 half times a base times a height. Or I can say it is base times height divided by 2. Turn and talk to your neighbor. Which one would you choose? And why? Okay, I'm going to choose a second one. Who would like to explain the rationale behind that? Okay, here's why. When you, when you have here a fraction in the formula, and you try to mix it with a decimal, things don't fly too well. Unless you change one decimal to the fraction or the fraction to the decimal, which I have, which I can do, and I'm sure most of you guys can do. What is one half equal to the decimal? 0 0.5. 0 0.5, okay. So that's the reason why I opted for the BH divided by 2. Here I go, here I go, here I go. I'm going to take the base, 6.5 centimeters. I substitute it in the location of the formula. It comes first. Then my height comes second. That's 14 centimeters. I'm going to multiply those two, and whatever I get as a product, I'll divide it by two. Y'all with me so far? Yeah. Yeah. See the order and organization of this. Yeah. B came first, H comes second, just like in the formula. So have a, a, a strategy on how you're going to work these area problems. Okay, 14 times 6.5 is what I got to do. So this is a review of multiplying decimals. 4 times 5 is 20, okay. 6 times 4 is 24. That makes 84. Add this up. Okay, I get 910. But because we're multiplying decimals, I have to count the decimal places behind. There's only one decimal point with only one place. Currently, the decimal place is in the back. I move it over one time. No longer 910. It is now 91. Y'all with me? OK. Then what I need to recall is I was multiplying centimeter times centimeter. What does that make? Centimeter squared. Am I done? No. Oh, man, I still want to be done. OK. I take this, and I need to mult. No, I need to what? Divide. I need to divide by 2. 91 divided by 2. Okay, I get a remainder. What shall I do? Decimal point, zero. Drop it like it's hot. Add a decimal point in your quotient. Five times two is at ten. So, here's my final answer. The area of that triangle. Forty-five and a half centimeters squared. Okay, multiplying decimals is what we reviewed here in example E.